Hey there. Um, today we're going to review prime and composite numbers and even and odd numbers and sort them here on this Venn diagram. Let's start with even and odd numbers. So even numbers are divisible by 2. That means that you can divide by 2 and the number will come out evenly, so without decimals. Odd numbers are not divisible by 2, meaning that if you were to divide those numbers by 2, it wouldn't come out evenly. So let's do some examples. 56. Oh, <laughs> whoops. 56. Try it again. There we go. If I um, divide it by 2, I get 28. So it's evenly divided by 2. Now 55. When I divide it by 2, does not come out evenly. See the 5 tenths right there? It's got a decimal. That indicates that this number is odd. Another way you can think of even and odd numbers is with even numbers. You could take those numbers and create an array in which the height is 2. Okay, so for example, we'll do 12. This is showing 12 different squares with a height of 2 and a width of 6. So 12 is divisible by 2. But the number 13, you couldn't build an array with a height of 2. If you were to try, you'd have one square left out. Sometimes we call that the odd man out. Okay. So even and odd numbers, we've got. Now, when you use a calculator to identify even numbers, you notice that there's a pattern in the ones place. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 20. The pattern that's emerging for all even numbers is that in the ones place, there's either, there's either a 0, 2, 4, 6, or an 8. So that's a really quick way to check to see if a number is even, is if it has a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in the ones place. That means that odd numbers have a 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9 in the ones place. Odd, even. All right, so now that we've gone over odd and even numbers, another way to characterize numbers is by calling them prime or composite. Some numbers are prime and some are composite. So prime numbers have only two factors, one in itself. For example, the number seven. It can only be divided by the number one. And itself. Seven can be divided by seven. And it comes out evenly to one. 7 can also be divided by 1, and it would come out evenly to 7. It does not have any other factors. You couldn't do 7 divided by 3, for example. You'd end up with a bunch of decimals. Okay, so that's how we define prime numbers. Composite numbers are the opposite. They are divisible by more than two factors. Okay, so for example, 10. 10 can also be divided by 1. You get 10. 
10 can also be divided by itself. You get 1. But 10 can also be divided evenly by 2 and 5. Since the number 10 has four factors, 1 and 10, 2 and 5, that makes 10 a composite number. You can figure out if a number is composite or prime by identifying its factors. You can use a calculator to do that. That's probably the easiest way. If you know the factors, you can write them out in a tree diagram, like here's 10, you could write it like this, 1 times 10, and 2 times 5. Some numbers have several factors. You could also do a um, factor rainbow. I like using factor rainbows if I don't know all of the factors. For example, let's use like the number 24. 24 has a lot of factors. When I do a factor rainbow, I start at 1 and 24. Ooh, I'm not going to have enough space here. go like this, 1 and 24, then I go after 1, let's try 2, is it divisible by 2? Yes, 2 and 12, is it divisible by 3? Oops. Yes, it is divisible by 3, 3 and 8, is it divisible by 4? Yes, 4 and 6, is it divisible by 5? No, it's not. What comes after 5? 6. And I already have it, so I know my rainbow is done. Okay, so let's go ahead and sort these numbers here at the bottom. We can start by identifying which ones are even, and we'll highlight those in yellow. 2 is even because it's divisible by 2. 8 is even because it's divisible by 2. 28 even because it's also divisible by 2. 86, 40, 32, 32, 164. These are all even numbers because they are divisible by 2 and you could plug them into a calculator to check. That makes the rest of these numbers odd. They're not divisible by 2. Okay, so now we know that these yellow ones don't, the ones we identified as even, don't go in there. So let's figure out which ones go in prime and which ones go in composite. Now think about what composite means. Composite means that there's more than two factors. So since all even numbers are divisible by 2, that makes pretty much all even numbers composite. But there is an exception. Let's start with a simple example. Let's start with 8. 8 is divisible by 1 and 8. It's also divisible by 2 and 4. It's divisible by 2 because it's an even number. So 8 is an example of a number that is both um, composite and even. So we'll put it right here, 8. Cross this out. 28. Again, it has to be composite because it definitely has 1 and 28 as factors. All numbers have those. They're all divisible by 1 and 28. Also, it has to be divisible by 2 because it's an even number, 2 and 14. Of course, 
it has more factors as well. But we could have stopped right here. That's four factors that makes it composite. That means that all of these numbers here are both composite and even. 86. Again, it's divisible by 1 and 86, and also it's divisible by 2 because it's an even number. 40. Same thing applies. 40 is divisible by 1 in itself. It has to be divisible by 2 because it's an even number. 32, 100, 64. So the one that we're left with, though, is the number 2. This is the one exception. Think about the factors of 2. It's an even number because it's divisible by 2. But it doesn't have any other factors besides 1 and itself. So that makes the number 2 a prime number. It's not odd. It's even, but it's also a prime number. Okay. So now that we've sorted all the even numbers, let's move on to the odd ones. Let's skip num let's skip 1 because that's kind of a weird one and go to 7. 7 we know is odd, but is it also prime? Well, let's do a factor rainbow. 1 and 7 is 7 divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6? It's not. That makes 7 a prime number that's also odd because it's not divisible by 2. I'm going to skip to 15. 15. It's divisible by 1 in itself, of course. Oh gosh. There we go. Is it divisible by 2? No, because it's odd. Divisible by 3? Yeah. 3 and 5. It's not divisible by 4, but it is divisible by 5. So we've got our four factors. That makes 15 composite because it's got four factors. And it's odd, which means it goes here. All right, let's skip down to 11. 11, it only has two factors, one and itself. That makes it not only an odd number, but also prime. The rest of these numbers here, 51, 73, 97, and 43, I'm going to use a calculator. We're allowed to use a calculator, so let's do it. 51. Unfortunately, when I switch to the calculator tool here, I don't think it's going to let me continue my ink. So, I would mark these down so we don't forget them. Alright, 51. We know it's odd, it's not divisible by 2. So let's try 3 works out evenly. That means that 51 has at least four factors. It's divisible by 1 in itself and 3 and 17. So it's both odd and composite. 51 goes here. All right, 73. I know it's not divisible by 2 because it's odd. Let's try 3. Nope, bunch of decimals, so it's not divisible by 3. It's not going to be divisible by 4 
it would have to be an even number to be divisible by 4. It would have to be divisible by 2. I could try 5, but I know it's not going to work out because numbers that are divisible by 5 have either a 0 or a 5 in the 1's place. See? Didn't work. I don't need to divide it by 6. If it were divisible by 6, then it would have been divisible by 2, which it's not. I could try 7. Definitely not. It's not going to be divisible by 8. If it were divisible by 8, it would have been divisible by 2. Um, and I don't need to divide it by 9 either because it's not divisible by 3. I could try 11. No, it doesn't work out. I couldn't find any other factors besides 1 and 73. That makes 73 a prime number. That's also odd. So 73 would go here. Okay, let's try 97. 97 is not divisible by 2 because it's an odd number. Let's try 3. Nope. It's not divisible by 3. It's not going to be divisible by 4 because it wasn't divisible by 2. It's not going to be divisible by 5 because there's a 7 in the 1's place. It's not going to be divisible by 6 or 8 because it wasn't divisible by 2. You can try 7. Didn't work. 97 wasn't divisible by 3, so it's not going to be divisible by 9. 97 is not divisible by 10, but I can try 11. If you know your divisibility rules for 11, you would know that that's definitely not going to work out. Numbers that are divisible by 7, the digits are repeated, like 55, 66, 77. Now that I've tried with a calculator, I can see that 97 is prime. Oops, prime and odd. So it goes right here because it needs to be in both the odd circle and the prime circle. All right, so let's come down to 91. 91. It's not divisible by 2 because it's an odd number. Let's try 3. Nope. 91, it's not going to be divisible by 4 or 6 or 8 because it wasn't divisible by 2. 91, it's not going to be divisible by 5 because there's a 1 in the 1's place. I can try 7. It worked. That means that 91 has four factors. 1 and itself and 7 and 13. So 91 is both odd and composite. Okay, let's try 77. We're almost done. 77 is odd, so it's not divisible by 2. It's not going to be divisible by 4, 6, or 8 because it wasn't divisible by 2. I can try dividing it by 3, and it doesn't work. It's not going to be divisible by 5 because there's a 7 in the 1's place. So let's try 7. You might know that it's going to work out. Yep. The digits are repeated, so we knew it was divisible by 11. That, makes, that means that 77 has four factors. 1 times 77 and 7 times 11. So it's composite and odd. All right, we've got 59 and 81. 59. Whoops. 59. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. 
It's not divisible by 2 because it's odd. Let's try 3. Nope. It's not divisible by 3. It's not going to be divisible by 4, 6, or 8 because it wasn't divisible by 2. 59 is not divisible by 5 because there's a 9 in the ones place. Let's try 7. Nope, didn't work. 59, it's not going to be divisible by 9 because it wasn't divisible by 3. It's not going to be divisible by 11 because the digits aren't repeated. A multiple of 11 would be 55 or 66, but not 59. That makes 59 a prime number that's also odd. Finally, 81. Whew, okay, 81's not divisible by 2 because it's odd. Let's try 3. Aha, uh -huh. it has at least 4 factors. 81 is divisible by 1 in itself, 3 and 27. And it's going to be also, it's also going to be divisible by 9. It's got um, 6 factors. That makes 81 definitely composite and also odd. All right, well, thanks for following along with our prime composite even odd review. Hope you're having a relaxing break from school. Keep practicing prime and composite numbers and even and odd. All right. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.